What a beautiful day for this event, although the wind just kicked up. Uh, well, good morning. I'm Greg Lowe, uh, the division president with HCA Healthcare, the North Carolina division, and uh, just really pleased to be here. And just want to wel welcome everyone and, and really appreciate everyone taking uh, time this morning to be here with us today on, on this very special day. And it really is a day of celebration for Angel Medical Center. Wow. Um, here we are, two, two years uh, since we've been started, since we talked about uh, the development and the planning and, and the construction of a new uh, medical center here in Franklin to serve the communities of Western North Carolina. Just very happy to be here and great to see everyone. We have you know, a few individuals that we want to recognize here that are with us today. Uh, we have some town council members, uh, Diana Mashburn and Justin Setzer. Uh, is, is the town planner and he's here as well. Uh, we have Gary Shields, uh, Macon County Commissioner, thank you for being here, as well as Carl Gillespie, our, our North Carolina State Representative, thank you for being here as well. We also have uh, Chief Bill Harrell uh, from the Franklin Police Department and Sheriff Robbie Holland, thank you for being here. Uh, we also have our State Senator Kevin Corbin, thank you for being here as well. Good to see you. And we've got uh, numerous other individuals, including, I know Warren Cave, I saw him earlier from EMS, thank you. Uh, big, big supporter and, and critical in the delivery of healthcare in this region. So thank you for being here. Uh, he, this construction project is, is amazing. And it, and it really continues uh, our commitment, HCA Healthcare Mission's commitment, to the continuation of healthcare services here in Macon County. Uh, and we couldn't be more excited about this. You know, when you think about uh, hospitals, rural hospitals across the United States, it's rare to hear of new hospitals being developed uh, or, or even being renovated. They're really closing. And we are fortunate here. To, to initiate uh, the development of this beautiful hospital. And really, the focus on you know excellence in care, patient safety is what it's all about. Uh, and we're just so pleased to to partner with the teams here uh, in Franklin in in this development in this project. Uh, partnerships are key, and partnerships have helped us in this project come to fruition. And partnerships with key individuals, we've got uh, our art architects here from ESA Architects who have been incredibly patient with the team as we work through different uh, uh, issues uh, and really develop the hospital that's going to focus on the patient. So thank you for your help here. Uh, we've also had rich dialogue and just unwavering commitment from everyone throughout the process over the last few months as we've developed uh, throughput and ideas that will help serve the patient better. So thank you. We uh, are celebrating again uh, this day, and you can see construction's already started, so we've turned over the construction project to J.E. Dunn Construction, and we appreciate their partnership and dedication uh, here to this project. And, you know, a lot of energetic discussions around the development, and again, their patience and working with us uh, through the multitude of changes that we've had. Uh, but again, you can see it started and, and look forward to seeing you know, the progress of this project and the next phase of the construction project. I think really, you know, I want to recognize the team at Angel Medical Center. Uh, from all of our clinicians, support personnel, physicians, medical staff, uh, everyone that helps, volunteers, and supports the team here to deliver care. You've all been key and instrumental in helping us develop this hospital and the design. And I just really appreciate what you've done. Uh, the energy around that, uh, the sweat equity, and your dedication to make this happen. So thank you uh, for being a part of that. So with that, uh, again, I just want to thank you all for being here, and it's my pleasure to turn the time now over to Janet Green, a member of our uh, Angel Medical Center board, for our invocation. It's hard to follow a very tall person. <laughs> <laughs> One additional person to recognize that is here is uh, Vice Mayor Jack Horton. I saw him here today. We're glad that he is here. Will you join me in prayer? Gracious God, we come before you with thanksgiving on this long-awaited day. We thank you for the
the countless hours of selfless care provided by so many caregivers and staff throughout the history of this hospital, and especially in this past pandemic year. Without their dedication and sacrifice, we would not be standing here today. We thank you for the support of this community and the community and hospital leadership who saw a vision for care and worked to make it happen. And we give thanks for the commitment of those who will bring this building into being. We pray for wisdom and safety as they employ their skills in the days ahead. Lord, we acknowledge our need for your divine guidance and support as we navigate the swiftly changing world of health care today. May the new structure which will be raised here be a place of healing and hope. May each stage of building bring joy to this community and to all who will work here. And may every staff member and administrator feel encouraged and supported along the way. Give now your grace to this gathering and the hope it inspires. We pray with joy. Amen. Thank you, Janet. We really appreciate your words of support and and uh, encouragement. And uh, we're very thankful, too, that we have sunshine and no rain. But uh, God lets us remember that not everything is perfect, so we do have wind. So <laughs> to watch out for those fall flying objects. So, wow, I am so excited to, bring, to begin the next step of our journey in building the new Angel Medical Center. Five years ago, when I joined AMC, I never dreamed I would have the opportunity to design and construct a new hospital for our community. Although challenging at times, our journey has brought us to today. As I have said before, a lot has to happen before we turn over a shovel of dirt. First, the need for a new hospital has to be established. Then a site has to be found a certificate of need sent and approved, funding has to be obtained, and plans developed. As with all significant projects, there were opportunities. AMC's new partnership with the HCA, filing of numerous permits and waiting for their approval, and of course, the pandemic. The legacy of the community hospital is rich as it provides for and meets the health care needs of our residents. We would not be positioned today to break ground on a new hospital without the legacy of the leadership that has come before us. To all of us, to all of the previous board members and hospital leaders, thanks go to each of you for your leadership and commitment to health care in Franklin and in Macon County. It is because of you that we again get to celebrate a bright future. To our local, state, elected officials, your shared vision for our community is strong and certain. Thank you for your support and collaboration during this project. As we stand grounded at our new hospital's future location, I want to acknowledge today that this would not have been possible without Mission Health and HCA. We also appreciate the support from the HCA construction team, the ESA architects, the town of Franklin, Macon County, the state of North Carolina, and many others who were important and instrumental in developing our facility. This $68 million facility is state of the art. It offers up-to-date clinical services and the latest of technology. Within the 82,000 square feet, we will house over three new ORs, a new procedure room for endoscopy, a 17-bed ED department. Also, the new facility will have five acuity adaptable beds, 20 med surge beds, and five observation beds. We are proud and excited to be able to continue our current clinical services 
while enhancing and developing additional services based on our community's future needs. At last, we have traveled to today and the breaking of this ground. This very ceremony symbolizes that this new hospital will provide health care to this community for years to come. As with all transitions, we must appreciate those from the past who founded and developed AMC. Their dream and commitment to providing health care in Macon County has paved the way for us in our health care today. As we turn over the soil, we will honor AMC's history and celebrate the new AMC's future. On behalf of Mission Health, I want to thank everyone for the countless numbers of hours that they have spent in making the new Angel Medical Center project a reality and for helping take health care to the next level in Macon County. At this time, I'd like to turn over the program to Johnny Meyer Knipple, Angel Medical Center's Board of Trustee Chair. Thank you, Karen. As chairman of the board, uh, I've seen a lot of changes uh, in healthcare in, in Angel Medical Center over the last 10 to 15 years. Obviously, for all of us here, Angel's long been an important part of our community, providing our citizens with safety and health, and providing our employers with a way to recruit and retain the best employees possible. Without our healthcare system and without our, our facility, a lot of those things just wouldn't happen. We have faced some significant challenges due to the changing landscape in healthcare. Today, size matters above most everything else because it becomes impossible to attract the services, the doctors, compete with the insurance companies. And as a standalone hospital, we were faced with significant challenges uh, with regards to our debt before Mission Health stepped in and offered to service it before finally acquiring us permanently. They then continued to invest heavily uh, with physician recruitment in the facilities. And then finally, HCA acquired Mission and the investment has continued. Today, we're standing here because both Mission Health and HCA made a promise to Macon County and to Franklin to invest in our community and provide us with a state-of-the-art facility. We've seen a major shift over the last several years towards telemedicine. Obviously, recruiting the types of physicians that we would need to service all of the, all of the procedures that occur here is impossible. But with telemedicine, we can bring advanced physicians locally to be able to take care of more of our patients without having to send them away. The new facility is designed with that type of technology in mind. We know patients want larger rooms. While we love our current facility, no one would say that our rooms are state-of-the-art or large. Uh, fitting an additional chair is a challenge in and of itself. Light, another huge important factor to trying to improve the quality of care for our patients. Lacking right now, while the new building, as you can see, is filled with light and windows to really help our patients feel better, which will help them get better quicker. I'm really excited with the commitment that HCA has made to Franklin and to Macon County. Uh, with, and the continued development th with the hospital plan in conjunction with our caregivers, uh, physicians, and local uh, providers. I'm thankful that our new hospital is going to be state of the art and provide this community with something to be proud of and to lead us into the next 50 years. Now I just want to thank you all for being here, for the support that you've provided over the years, uh, and for everything that you do for Angel and for our community. With that, I'm going to turn the program back over to Karen. We'll get us ready for our official groundbreaking. Thank you. Thank you, Johnny. I believe that we all agree we have much to celebrate today. Through your presence here, you have reinforced the importance of health care in our community. Our shared goal is to have healthy communities. And as we break ground for the construction project, we are thankful for our many partnerships in achieving that vision. And now, for the moment that we've all been waiting for, please join me in this momentous event. Okay, ready guys?
Yeah, oh yeah. Well, it's everybody. But.